Hello, it's another day, it's another month, it's another year. Welcome to 2021. Today is the day I upgrade my Lego toilet. Last month, December 2020, I took what was this rather drab room and turned it into a miniature Lego room. But I'm not finished. There is still time for a number two. Um, let's just show you the room as it is. We have, as you can see, the shelves with some Lego on it, some brick heads, T-Rex, Flintstones. Round here we have the minifigures, we have brick sketches. Plenty of room left for the brick sketches. Did that on purpose. I'm hoping there's going to be more. I want a wall of brick sketches. Ikea mini boxes in the cabinet. Up here we have Saturn V. Even on the ceiling we have Lego floating in the skylight and round on the door we have the Lego sign. However, the sink. Obviously you need access to the sink, but there is a big open area here above the sink. What I want to do is create a scene. I want a scene for something else. Everything else in here is display and display only, but I want a display that's actually something that comes together. And there's some sets, obviously, that came out last year, not giving any hints, but I think would be perfect for this area. It's a toilet, it's water. We need an aquatic area. So again, not giving any hints, we're gonna create an aquatic area here. So without further ado, let's cut to the montage. And we are done. That is the end for my transformation, part two at least, of my Lego toilet. Um, yeah, that was fun, interesting, um, a lot more actual Lego elements in terms of the actual build and construction, because essentially I just built a shelf or a table. I say a shelf or a table because it acts like a shelf but it's on legs, so essentially it's a table. Reason for that being is I wanted to be able to remove it and put it back in as I want. I can't necessarily do that with a shelf. I didn't want to damage the walls too much as well. It's going to sustain a lot of weight. So rather than mounting it to the wall, I just thought I'd put it on some small legs. So I've got a movable table. Also means it's easier to move if I move house or anything at any point. Um, we tiled the base with trans blue tiles, obviously to represent the sea. Um, it just means I can attach things to the base if I want and it looks better with everything being Lego. And then we put the mirrored back on it so that effectively the Lego continues going and you get a continuation of the sea and you get to see the back of the sets in some regard as well. Just makes it look a lot busier and a lot more populated. Um, so let's actually have a look at it. Here we go. Whee, there we are. Here is my 
Lego Pirates of Barracuda Bay setup. Um, that is the hero set in this piece. As you can see, it is above the sink. The sink, um, without the with the shelf above it, gets actually blocked from the light. Um, as you can see, I will just switch that. Um, I have put a motion sensor in place, so when you come in the toilet, essentially that turns on giving light to the sink, and then you still get all the light nicely lit from up above for the pirate setup. Um, I love this. I really love this thing. There's so much going on, so much chaos. The trans blue tiling um, just looks stunning. Don't worry, I didn't actually glue any Lego. The base plates under here are not official Lego. So that's what stuck to the wood. And all the actual Lego bricks are easily removable, as you can see. Uh, it just means I've got a stud connection available. Um, not the best stud connection. Some are tighter, some are looser, but that's what you get with off-brand Lego. Um, here's the setup. We've got a few different eras of pirates going on here and a few other things. We've obviously got Pirates of Barracuda Bay. We've also got the Creator 3-in-1 set released last year. Um, so they're the modern sets. We then go back about 10 years to 2009 for the Kraken Attacken set. Um, this was the original Kraken that came with the set. Wasn't happy with that. If you're going to have a Kraken Attacken, I mean, that's not particularly big. So I built my own tentacle and I thought it'd be quite funny to have it attacking them with a brick separator. What's more worrying to a minifigure than a brick separator? So that's from 2009. I have reviewed that recently. Um, so link for that up the top and in the description below. Then going back all the way back to the beginning of Lego Pirates, we have the Sentry set from 1989. This is an original. Just going to move the Kraken out the way. Oh, I love ball joints. So yeah, we've got the Sentry set. Um, this is also reviewed on my channel. Link up the top and down below, as always. I thought it'd be quite funny to have one lone Sentry in a dinghy taking on the full might of a pirate ship. Uh, the pirate ship itself, I have done one slight mod on that. Let's move the Kraken back in place. Uh, there we are. We have replaced the figurehead with a Weeping Angel. So I'm officially calling the set or the ship the Weeping Angel. Um, and obviously when you've got a Weeping Angel, you need to have the Doctor coming in for the rescue and to investigate. So we've got the Doctor, the 11th Doctor, Matt Smith, out on the plank trying to rescue, rescue Clara Oswald whilst being pursued by a pirate and a shark waiting patiently underneath. Uh, the sentry is obviously attacking the ship. Um, we use the ice cream pieces for the smoke. What's quite interesting is I dropped a couple of these cannon pieces when I was doing this. We've got a set from 2020, we've got a set from 1989. I could not for the life of me work out which cannon piece belonged to which set, which just shows the longevity of Lego and just how compatible it is across the decades. A few other little things we've got going on. We have Hook and Peter Pan. Um, they are in battle, Lo loving these new pieces that were released with the DC minifigure series, um, enabling me to make pan fly without any strings or anything. And then up above that, we have Pirate Batman coming in, swinging down the rigging into the rescue. And in the background here, you can see there is the DeLorean on another time travel trip. Um, we've got Doc driving the DeLorean. And then hanging out the bottom, we have, if you can see him in there in the background, we have Marty McFly hanging on. Uh, we've got Zombie Pirate on a rocky outcrop in the background. Um, and then, of course, Barracuda Bay. Um, one other little addition with that, we've got a little range of mer people um, having a little hula, I guess. Um, one playing the guitar, we've got one with a triton, and one with a bone, because we know in mythology, mer people would lure sailors to their death. As beautiful as they look, they are dangerous and vicious. 
species. Um, coming in for the hula, we got a little crab and the kraken from the kraken attacking set. Um, so yeah, I mean, I got Barracuda Bay. It's been sitting in my cupboard for six months. I have just done a review and speed build for that, not finished yet, but once those are up, I will link them up the top and also down below. Um, so yeah, that is part two of my Lego toilet takeover done. Um, we've obviously now got a big space up here. I have ordered a set for this space, um, ordered it on January the 1st, but it is delayed and still in the warehouse at Lego. So yeah, there we go. That is my Lego toilet takeover. Part one we did in December, part two we did in January. Um, there will be a part three. Now you're probably asking yourself, in here, where is there any room for any further modifications? Obviously we don't want anything around the toilet bowl. There's not much space on the ceiling. We've got the skylight with the Lego in it, but Above the sink, we have Barracuda Bay. We've got the sink. Don't want to clutter that too much. Here's the motion sensor. Mm. There was the motion sensor. There we go. Um, and then below the sink, we've got a cupboard. Now, had an issue with this recently. There was some leaking in here. The wood has warped. I need to sort that out, but this cupboard is currently not used. There is a big empty space on here. So in this cupboard, at some point in the near future, we will have part three of my Lego toilet takeover. So there we go. That is part three. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, really enjoyed doing that build. And that tiling on the table, I've never done tiling to that extent before. So I love the way that it looks. And it's made me think, could you make actual furniture with a Lego tiling on top? Could you make just furniture, not for displaying Lego, but being Lego? So that's something I want to explore in the future as well. I like building stuff that's not Lego and that is Lego. So let's bring the two together and make some furniture, maybe a little side table or something. That could be quite interesting. But as always, like subscribe, comment, all that gubbins. Ring the bell? Yeah. And I'll see you soon. Thanks. Bye.